We're asked to find the cardinality of each set. The cardinality of a set is a number of distinct elements in the set. So looking at set A, the cardinality is equal to the number of elements in the set. So we could count them one by one, but let's look at a formula we can use when we have a set that consists of an ordered sequential list of integers. The number of integers in an ordered sequential list is equal to the greatest value minus the least value plus one. So let's look at a simple example. Let's take a look at a simple example of why this works. Let's say we have set E that contains the elements one, two, three, four, and five. We can easily see set E contains five elements and therefore the cardinality of set E is equal to five. But using the formula, another way to determine the number of elements in the set, because we have an ordered sequential list of integers, is to take the largest value of five, subtract the least value of one, and then add one. Notice this gives us four plus one, which is equal to five. Just keep in mind this only works when we have a list of integers that are ordered and sequential, meaning no integers are missing from the list. So now going back to set A, if we don't want to count the number of elements in the set one by one, we can use the formula, the greatest value of 25 minus the least value of eight plus one will give us number of elements in the set. Well, 25 minus eight is equal to 17. 17 plus one is equal to 18. There are 18 elements in set A, and therefore the cardinality of set A is 18. I guess another way we could think of this is the number of elements from 11 to 25 is 15, and then we have three more, eight, nine, and 10. 15 plus three is 18. Whichever way, the cardinality is 18. For set B, set B is a set of all integers x, such that x is greater than or equal to negative five and less than or equal to 18. Let's go ahead and show set B as a list. The least element in set B is negative five, and then we have negative four, negative three, negative two, and so on. The last three elements in the set would be 16, 17, and 18. So again, the cardinality is the number of elements in set B. Well, the number of elements from one to 18 is 18. The number of elements from negative five to zero is six. 18 plus six is 24. The cardinality of set B is 24. Or again, if we wanna use the formula, we would have 18 minus negative five plus one. Well, 18 minus negative five simplifies to 18 plus five or 23. 23 plus one is equal to 24. For the last example, we're asked to determine the cardinality of the intersection of C and D. Let's write set C and D as lists. So set C is a set of all natural numbers X such that X is less than or equal to 20. And therefore C contains the elements zero, one, two, three, all the way out to 20. I'm gonna go ahead and list all of them. And now let's write set D as a list. Set D is a set of all natural numbers X such that X is prime. Remember a prime number is greater than one and only has two factors, one in itself. So the first element in D is two, followed by three and then five, seven, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and dot, dot, dot. We can go ahead and stop here, because remember we're looking for the intersection of C and D, and the greatest element in C is 20. So now let's determine the intersection of C and D, so that we can then determine the cardinality of the intersection of C and D. C intersect D is a set containing the elements that are in C and in D, which notice are going to be the prime numbers from two through 19. Notice the elements of two, three, five, seven, 11, 13, 17, and 19 are in C and in D.
the number of elements in the intersection of C and D is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The cardinality of C intersect D equals 8. I hope you found this helpful.